Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in. Set a spell. Oh, I don't even have the microphone plugged in. Oh, my goodness. It's been a busy day here. Let me know in the comments what you've been doing on this beautiful Saturday. I, um, I did some jogging and I did some planting. So I got my beds planted with some flowers. Okay, there, hopefully. Please let me know in the comments if you can hear me. I've switched microphones and let's hope it's working. So tonight we're going to create a fun fold card. Surprise, I absolutely love fun fold cards. And so looking forward to um, sharing one with you. This one is called the uh, Triple Flap Fun Fold Card haven't made this one for a while. You can hear me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know that. Um, so we're going to do it again with some new products. We're going to be playing with the inked and tiled. Well, let's see. That's not what it's called. Hang on. The uh, inked botanicals suite from the catalog, which includes the inked and tiled bundle. So uh, shout out to my moderator hanging out in the comments on YouTube here, Jennifer Walsh. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer's here to help us out tonight with measurements and answering comments and all of the things. If you're over on Facebook, so glad that you're joining me as well. Um, I will post all of the dimensions for the card at the end, along with the, pic with the card so that you can take a screenshot screenshot and uh, recreate it, or I will go through the, the measurements as I create the card. And I'm hoping that you'll help me design it here with picking out which papers we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Um, I did want to remind you that I send out free project sheets. Um, I love how you are all making and sending handmade cards. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Um, I just know that we're making the world a gent gentler and kinder place when we sent those little uh, pieces of our heart um, in the mail. So thank you so much for sending those paper hugs. And uh, I hope that uh, in these videos, we can inspire one another so that we can make and send even more cards, right? So let's go ahead. Um, and I do send out free project sheets. You can subscribe at SueStampfield.com. Just click on subscribe and let's go. All right. So I got to remember to take that down. I'm so bad at that, you guys. All right. We're going to flip to the other camera here. Technology is not my... <laughs> not my go-to. So mm, I do the best I can, but as we all do, correct? Um, so this is the inked and tiled bundle. Oh, my microphone wants to fall. Excellent. That's not what I want you to do, microphone. Um, so we have the inked and tiled. This is a punch bundle. So we've got the stamp set with the different greetings, and then we have these two punches. And we also have in this um, suite of products, now you can get the whole suite uh, with one easy to order number. So let's take a look at what else is in that suite. It is on page 95 in your catalog. Go over to comments here. So, uh, you're sending, oh, you're doing cards for the VA hospital in the Minneapolis, Joan. How awesome is that? Um, so this one is on page 95. I'm just looking at the names of those punches. So uh, they're the inked and tiled punch pack. So um, if you don't care for the stamp set, you can get just the punches. Um, we're also going to be playing with a designer series paper. It is called... <sighs> Inked Botanicals is the name of the paper. We're going to take a quick look at that because we need to decide which patterns we're using. And then the other thing that comes in the suite is this gorgeous Lost Lagoon ribbon. So one thing that appealed to me about this suite is that it has a lot of, it has both vanilla and white in it. So I use a lot of vanilla in my, or a lot of white in my cards. And I like to challenge myself every so often to use more vanilla. So what I like about this paper is it goes with either. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, this Lost Lagoon ribbon, if you recall, we used this a few weeks ago when we made this card uh, with the Darling Details bundle, which has that um, that die in it that has the ribbon slot in it. So we uh, weaved that ribbon through. Um, and then we also, I, can't remember, I think we made this one on the live. And then afterwards, I made this one uh, with the petal pink ribbon from, that's part of the two-pack uh, ribbon that's in with the Zoo Crew. Um, and then I also did a version, this is a separate video, 
with some vanilla. <laughs> so uh, with the um, wanted to say dies and then the, um, the darling details again. But this one, we're going to play with inked and tout. So we're going to take a quick look at this designer paper because we need, to, oh, wait, we've got random bits in here. Don't want that. <laughs> We're going to take a look at the different patterns here, and I'm going to be pulling out ones that I'm intrigued by. Um, and I'm intrigued by this one right here. I like both sides of that. This one is a vanilla uh, base. This side could actually go with white. Um, it could go with vanilla. It could go either way. Um, we have this one with the petals, and I like that too, and I like these two together could either match this up or this up or use some of all of it. This card that we're making, um, we need three pieces. Now we're getting into that Lost Lagoon. Um, where did I put my paper pack? All right, I've lost my first thing for the night. Oh, goodness, it's right in front of my face. All right, we're going to take a sip, everyone. So when I lose something and I find it again, we all take a sip of our beverage. Hmm. I have water in my cup tonight. All my else, my ice has melted, which is tragic, but <laughs> we'll just have to make do. So in this paper, we have Calypso Coral, which is right here. We have Crushed Curry right here. We have Lost Lagoon, which is here, and this stripe here. And then we have Pool Party, which is kind of somewhere in between these two. And then we also have some Petal Pink, which you can see back here. So let's just whip through these. I'm going to pull these two patterns out because I think this might work with our card. And like I said, there's three strips of designer paper. They can, some of them can be the same. All three could be different. We can decide what we want to do. And then let's pull out some of these Lost Lagoon um, ones. Ooh, that's pretty with the Crushed Curry. Uh, but I'm thinking, let's, let me just pull out, oh, this is nice too, nice and soft here. That's almost like so saffron. Um, here is, which I think is retired now, isn't it? Um, this is the, uh, oh, that's really pretty with the Lost Lagoon and Pool Party. I like that one. Uh, oh, I like this one too. All right, these might work well. All right, these I'm going to hold off too. Um, this is nice. As, oh, gosh. Oh, so many decisions. All right, I'm holding on to that too. So let's just whip through these really quick and see that petal pink in there. This one would be fun for fall, actually. It's got some leaves in it. Um, so you can just see those different botanicals in there. Um, this is with the petal pink. There's that crushed curry mixed with the... Um, Calypso Coral. Here's some solid crushed curry. Here's all of the colors as a floral. And then this one. Oh, I like this too. It's just very, um, this could make a great masculine card, right? Uh, and this one here. Okay. Oh, I had this one twice because I had that one there. All right. We're going to put these aside. Oh, I'm going to put that one aside. Oh, so close. All right, so friends, we are going to make a card tonight, and I need you to help me decide what color we're going to use. And um, we're going to use too many to choose from. Always the problem, right? But I think we got it narrowed down here. So um, let me know in the comments if you want to go Lost Lagoon or if you want to go with, let's just say Calypso Coral, because that's the, the dominant color back here. So let me know in the comments if we're doing Lost Lagoon or Calypso Coral. If we do the Lost Lagoon, we're going to go with a white base. If we do the Calypso Coral, we're going to go with a very vanilla base. So let me know if which one we are going with. And I'm going to get out my paper trimmer. Oh, Lord, where is it? I ah, found it. <laughs> Uh, I had the Simply Scoring tool on top of it. Okay, take a sip, everyone. Mm. We have found our paper trimmer. So let me just take a quick scan here and see which direction we are going tonight. Boy, ooh, it's pretty evenly. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Lost Lagoons, though. Mm. It is pretty tied, but I'm seeing a few more Lost Lagoon. So we're going to go Lost Lagoon. You know what? We have time. We might make a second one. We'll see how we go. Let's go with Lost Lagoon. I'm going to bring in some basic white. I'm actually going to grab the thick basic white. Hang on. I stepped away from the microphone. Sorry about that. So I have some thick basic white here. And we're going to cut our paper. So sliding stuff out of the way. <laughs> Clearing the deck. All right. I've got my, my cheat sheet measurements over here. All right. We're going to cut our, this is eight and a half by 11 cardstock because we're in the U.S. here. And we're going to cut this at, um, 
let's raise this up a little bit. We're going to cut this at five and a half by 11. And that's going to form our card base. So I have basic white, five and a half by 11. And then I need a piece of um, basic white that is three quarters inch by 11. This particular card is closed with a belly band. So this uh, skinny piece will be our belly band. All right. And I think I need one more strip for a little bit later. This is a little half incher. Hmm, where's the half inch mark? Oh, it's right over there. I almost cut it at quarter inch. Oopsie. All right. Half inch strip. This is just for punching a greeting later. But I'm super... Um, I was going to say a lazy stamper. Let's say efficient. That sounds so much better. Um, I like to kind of group activities together. So I'm die cutting. I like to die cut all the pieces first. Um, same with the trimmer. I like to kind of cut everything at the same time. So it's totally personal choice on how you want to do that. Oh, we need to do some scoring. So let's just bring that right back in here. Fortunately, it didn't go too far. All right. Hello, Susan. How are you? We had dinner. Yeah, we haven't had dinner yet. So I, I we're having dinner super late tonight. Um, okay, we are going to score this at a whole bunch of different places. So I've got all my layering leaves still out of my desk from our last. Uh, I did a short video. I did a blog hop. Um, on Friday to celebrate my downline, Rachel Tessman, she, this is her million dollar stamp set from when she achieved her million dollars. She helped design this with the designer. And so we did a blog hop. So I did um, a quick little video on how to make this um, easel card uh, playing out, playing with this layering leaves stamp set, which matches the bow uh, punch, which is so awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to score this at one and a quarter. Again, just a quick reminder, this is five and a half by 11. We're going to score it at one and a quarter. And I'm going to remind myself I'm scoring and not cutting <clears throat> so that I don't get in trouble. And then we're going to score it at four inches. And then we're going to score it at six and three quarters. So I need to open up this extendable arm here. So I get to the six and three quarter mark, which is right there. And score it right there. Okay. So our scoring is done. And let's put this away now. And we're going to go ahead and fold our card. So this card, uh, this bottom section, the last part I scored is a four and a quarter inch piece. That's going to be the inside of our card. I'm going to grab my bone folder, which is oh, right where it belongs. Miracle, miracle. And so I'm going to give that a good crease. And then I'm going to fold this one backwards. So kind of doing some accordion folding here. Give that a crease. And then I'm going to fold this last bit forward. Okay, so there I have my card. So it's going to open up like this. All right, I'm going to give this, this is the thick, so I'm going to give it a little deeper crease. You don't have to use thick for this. You absolutely could use regular cardstock. The thick just gives you just a little more heft and makes it feel a little bit more elegant sometimes. All right, let's bring in the papers that we we're playing with. And I, I know I discarded this one, but look what's back. <laughs> look, it's back. I like lots of options. So we're going to put a piece of designer paper here that will be really big when the card is opened. We're going to put a smaller piece here and a piece up here. So on this card, let's do three different ones. So we, I'm just going to play here and see what kind of looks the best to our eye here. This is um, when I make a card, I like to kind of lay it out uh, before I commit. Do you do that as well? I'm going to flip these around here. Let's try this here. Let's try this here. And let's try this up here. All right. I like that combo just for fun. I'm going to see. I think the other option I would do is I would, if I did this one, I would do this in the middle 
like and maybe this lighter one at the top but i just don't like that as well so i'm going to go with my original uh thought which was these three in that order so is that what how i had it i think that's how i had it let me just check mm, kind of like this all right let's do it this way okay all right we have decided on our paper so now we can do some cutting so I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut this bottom section is four. I should look before I say that four by five and a quarter. This is a six by six paper. It's on sale this month. And remember, I've got a couple from couple of special offers this month. If you place a $50 order in my online store, you're going to qualify for Crafter Noon um, in July. You're also going to get a packet of inspiration cards. Inspiration cards are sample cards that I've gotten in swaps or cards that I've made on videos. They might be retired product, but the layout, the colors, you might have those products. Um, I find uh, sample cards very inspiring when I'm creating, and I hope you'll do the same. I'm going to cut this one at two and a half inches. I almost cut it wrong. Two and a half inches by five and a quarter. This is for that middle part. Five and a quarter. Now, if you have a lot of things on your wish list, um, the best bang for your buck is to purchase the starter kit. And if you purchase the starter kit this month, you get a whole bunch of extra product. So normally when you get the starter kit, it's $99 and you get $125 in product. This month you get an extra, uh, you get $155 in product. So it's a really good deal and a great way to uh, knock out a lot of things on your list. Okay, we're gonna do this last section at the top and that is one inch by five and a quarter. One inch by five and a quarter. All right. All right, and that one's gonna go across the top. Lost Lagoon is such a pretty color and it pairs so nicely with the uh, pool party. All right, I've got lots of extra pieces here. I could do a completely, a second card with these same um, variations, but just, move them around if that makes sense, put them in different spots. So let's save that for later. I might want one of those. I'm gonna hang on to this scrap. We might use this. All right, so let's go ahead and stick these down for our card. That would require some heat. Oh, I found it. It was under uh, an embellishment card. That's for a sneak peek embellishment that is, uh, something demonstrators can pre-order right now it's one of the online exclusives that'll be coming out next month and i am having my directs team event next week this is for demonstrators who signed up directly with me or are um, i'm their next active team leader and so yesterday i sent out their packets for our uh, make and take so they get to make the new crafternoon fun fold before anyone else and their version is a special version. So, um, but our regular Crafternoon, when I get to share the fold with everybody, will be on June 24th this month. Oh, I like it, you guys. It's already coming together really nicely. <laughs> so this is the Inked Botanicals paper. Thank you, Jennifer. She's uh, Judy was questioning about that. And so this is the Inked Botanicals paper, which is on page 95 in the catalog. Thank you, Jennifer. And it's on sale this month. So hmm, it's a good time to pick it up. All right. So pretty. So we're going to put this one right at the top. What I love about Designer Series paper is Although there's a lot of choices in the pack, once you make your decision, it makes everything else easier. <laughs> so it puts the design of the card, makes it really quick and easy to, to um, decorate your card. And then it also uh, makes it easy on what color ink do I use? I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon. I mean, hello, that's an obvious, right? So I'm gonna grab that. So now we're gonna put a belly band on our card. So if you recall, we cut a three quarter inch by 11 inch piece of 
uh, basic white. Now when I do belly bands, I actually do not like to uh, score them because it never works out right. They're either too tight or too loose. <laughs> so I actually prefer to just fold it. Now you can see this card could be a vertical card. It could be a horizontal card. Um, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, it will matter when we start putting our greeting in there, right? We're going to have to, Susan's going to have to make a decision. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to find the edge of my card and fold this down. And then I'm going to find the bottom of my card and where that fold should be and just fold it right there. Now I know my belly band is going to fit um, regardless of scores or whatnot. I am going to put very strong tape on this. I'm going to use Terran tape um, to secure this. And I can see, I'm gonna, so I'm going to grab my Terran tape roll. Oh, it's a fresh roll of Terran tape. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to put, I'll just put two pieces side by side, kind of near the top of my belly band here. Now, Terran tape, let me just talk about this really quickly. So it's meant to be torn, but if you've ever had it where it actually rips your paper, here's what you want to do. You actually want to tear it. Um, before you stick it down on the paper. So I pulled it back. I tore it first. Now I stick it down. If you stick it down on your paper and then tear it, it sometimes will tear the paper. If that bugs you, you just want to tear it before you stick it. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to peel back the uh, backing pieces on this. Let's pop our belly band back in place. And we're going to just close it down right there. All right. So there is our belly band closure. And now we're going to decorate our card. And we've got a little seam here, but we're going to cover that up. So nobody panic about that. Um, so let's talk about, let's grab the stamp set. We've got a couple options here. So for the exterior of our card, we're either going to do just a note or lots of love. Those are the ones that are going to fit the best on what I'm doing. So let me know in the comments if you want just a note or lots of love. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to grab this uh, leftover piece of designer paper. It was from down here. And I'm going to grab the punch. Now, this is a double punch pack here. I'm going to use this bigger one that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided. And I'm just going to punch that out. There we go. And then I'm actually also going to punch out a piece of Lost Lagoon. Grab that. Here we go. Right here. Okay. So we've got these two. I punch them out with the same punch. And then I have this punch. Now this punch you can punch out like this and layer on top like so or like so but the other cool thing you can do with this punch is you can actually just punch a section so that's what we're going to do for our greeting and our greeting is going to be da -da done uh looks like just a note is the win all right so we're going to grab our ink pad here. This is again Lost Lagoon and just a note. I have to clean it because it's not clean. So let's grab our cleaning pad. This is the cheapest washer and dryer you'll ever get. I've got my Stampin' Mist. I've got my little cleaning pad here and I'm just going to clean this up because it's got a different color ink on it right now. And that is not going to work. All right, so I am going to stamp just a note. Now I have this whole 11 inch piece. Let's hope I can get it straight on one of it. I stamped it per perfectly straight before the video, but that never happens to me on a video. <laughs> Partly because, yeah, I still haven't got it right. Mm. Partly because, okay, I'm going to pull it towards me. So I, I like to stand right over the paper when I, when I stamp, because then I can see what I'm doing and I can get it straight. When I have it under the camera, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it gets off every time. So thank you for letting me pull it towards me so I could get it straight there. So let's just um, <clears throat> eliminate the boo-boos. 
I can use those on the other side, right? And we're going to slide this into the punch. I'll do it. Oops, I need this a little shorter. Slide it into the punch here uh, this way. And you see how it's going to punch a banner for me? You just want to make sure that your paper is about a half inch, even a little bit less, so that it fits in there nicely. So there we have our just a note. Mine was a teensy bit wider than half inch, I think, because it's got a little ridge on it. So I'm just going to nip it down. You also can just punch out the whole thing like we did here and just go boom, boom, if that's easier for you. So two options there, but it gives you this nice little banner that's going to perfectly fit. Okay, that was not cut straight. Still didn't trim it very straight. Okay, that's better. Um, that's perfectly going to fit with our other punch here. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to stagger these two punches so that instead of a, what I say, eight sided, it's now going to be 16 sided. Because why not, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put a little adhesive in the middle of that. And... Still have people voting. Yes, I agree. Lots of love would have been a good choice too. It just kind of depends who you're sending it to, right? Uh, if it's a coworker, maybe lots of love is not the right sentiment. So we can do our, you know what? You guys are so far away. Let's bring a little closer here. All right. So we've got our cool star here. So we can do it where the designer series paper is kind of like a square and we can put, put it in the center like that. Or we can do it so that it's more like a a diamond shape and have it up like that. I think I, I prefer it like that. I'm going to pop this up with a dimensional here. And we're going to decorate our belly band with this. All right. So what do we decide? We decided like that diamond shape, right? Right. Okay. So that is going to go right here on the front of our card, like so. I'm going to slide you back a little bit. There we go. And you can put this on with a dimensional. I'm actually just going to put it on with a little piece of tear and tape. I don't want it to fall off. So just pop a little piece of tear and tape on there. All right, where's my, up? Oh, found my take your pick tool. It was hiding behind the punch. Take a sip, everyone. Hmm. And we're going to pop this right on here. So super simple card to make. But you slide off that belly band and you open it up like this. And inside we can have a greeting. So our note to our, our that we're sending, what, what do we want to have on the inside? Happy birthday? Hello, friend, or thank you. Let me know in the comments. Happy birthday, hello friend, or thank you. And let's see here. I wonder too, I think we might need a little bit of flower or a leaf inside. I think a flower. I could do this one that kind of matches the, the front flowers, but I kind of like this one. Let's try this one. Um, I have not even used that one yet. Look, it's brand spanking new. Let's give it a go here. Uh, sometimes people say they'd like to see the card before I make it, that that would help them. I don't know what it's going to look like before I make it because we're literally making this live together and making it up as we go. All right, so I'm going to just pop this on there. I'm not even going to put the label on or anything. I'm just going to just ink it up and I'm going to fold this back. And uh oh, I better get a scrap paper. Here we go. Here's a scrap paper. And I'm just going to pop some flowers right in the corner here. There we go. A little something, something on the inside of our card. And then we can also add a sentiment here. So what are we doing? Um, looks like Hello Friend is the favorite, although it's, there was a lot of votes for all of them. So Hello Friend. All right, so I am going to put the label on this because it's words 
And if I don't have that label on there, the chances of me getting it straight on my card, mm, that's going to be challenging. So I'm going to peel off my label here. I'm going to grab a clear block, stick my label on the block, peel off the backing. Let's not stab ourselves, Sue. <laughs> uh, do you talk to yourself when you craft? Because I, I do a lot. All right, peel that off and then we'll take the backing off of this. And again, I'm going to pull it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Hello, friend. It goes like that. And then I just hover over it and make sure that the sticker is aligned with the back of the stamp and give it a press. And now I've got that on there. You can see when I put it on the block, I put it on a little crooked. I didn't even know it because I didn't have the sticker on. So that's my favorite way to put on the labels on the stamps and we're just going to put hello friend right inside our card so there we go now if you wanted to add embellishments on this you absolutely could it's your choice slide that belly band back in place or you can keep it uh, clean and simple like this let's go ahead and make up um, the calypso coral one really quick and then I will put up the measurements with a picture of both cards. So let me close up my ink pad here. And oh, got ink on myself. Well, there's a shocker. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Oh, plenty of time. I just so happen to have a piece of vanilla already set here. And I thought I had, yep, I even got some paper. All right, so let's go with this one on the bottom this one in the middle and on the top we're going to repeat that bottom paper right that bottom pattern so this is a six by six paper this is four this is one so it's a kind of a better use of the paper it's going to be a five by five and a quarter piece total so let's put this on there this one has a very vanilla base this side would be really cute too but i wanted a little pop of color here so we're going to go with that bright and happy Calypso Coral. And then in the middle, we're going to put this piece right here. So let's flip that over. And when we decorate it, I'm going to punch this uh, sort of polka dot um, out. I, that's what I punched out for my, my uh, extra piece. This is the one I, when I, oh, I just put it in the wrong spot. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious. What are we going to do, guys? Dang it. <laughs> All right, we're making this one different. Mm. Susan. Oh, I can't, can't take me anywhere, I tell you. All right, <clears throat> let's cut another one. So apparently those two are the same panels. So this one is going to be super decorated. <laughs> ah. Friends, you should never talk and stamp at the same time. Apparently it's a bad idea. All right, this is two and a half by five and a quarter. No worries, we can we can salvage this, right? It's gonna end up being extra, extra cute. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Fortunately, it's just a card. Just a card. It's just a card. Not like I'm fixing a car here and I put the wheel on wrong, right? Nobody will be harmed. All right, we got double flowers on this one. And then let's go ahead and pop this on. I think this little, little flower side, super cute too. All right, there we go. All right, and then I got my belly band right here. I already adhered it. That's going to go on here. Let's decorate our belly band. I have a Calypso Coral eight-sided piece, and then I've got a piece of the DSP, and I have just a note again. So let's put a little sticky on there. And again, we're just going to stagger it so it makes a 16-sided piece. And then we're going to pop this up with the dimensional again. <laughs> You were trying to tell me not there, Mary. Oh, thanks for trying. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> You're like, Susan, don't do it. 
Ah, yeah. All right. There we go. We got our just a note. And that's going to go right on here. So what are we going to do here, friends? So we have some options. Uh, for those of you that like to write words, you absolutely could put a, you know, a, a little rectangle in there. I've got these punches here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a little punch action. So I don't want to do this. Let's try this. Let's try our, did I lose the stamp set? Oh, found it. It was under the, the, the grid paper. I'm going to grab happy birthday. I always need birthday cards, right? So we're going to peel this off. And do I want to live dangerously and not put the label on? No, I really don't. <laughs> not the way things are going tonight, right? My stomach is growling. Can you hear that? It's definitely time for supper here. All right. Let's peel off the backing. And we are doing smash burgers tonight. You smash them on the grill and it will be fabulous. All right. I'm just going to hover this over. All right, let's see how I did. I need a Calypso Coral ink pad. Just so happen to have one right here. Let's see how this works. So I stamped my happy birthday. Oh, that was not very good stamping. Let's try that again, Sue. It's pretty lame. It was not very dark. All right, that's better. Let's uh, zoom up a little bit here. And then we'll just grab our handy dandy punch here and we're going to stamp happy birthday or punch out happy birthday. I should say we already stamped it and that's going to go on the inside of our card. And since I don't like to write a lot of my cards, I have just enough room here to go love Susan <laughs> right at the bottom. Right. And you know what? Oh gosh, I think it'd be cute with a layer behind. What do y'all think? Uh, let me grab Got a piece of be a piece of calypso coral around here somewhere. Hang on. Found one. Take a sip, everyone. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a little layer just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, otherwise, it just kind of disappears a little bit. So again, I'm gonna make that 16 pointed star like so, and pop it on the inside of my card. There we go. If you wanted to write more, you could always write it on the back, right? And let's go ahead and pop this on with a little piece of tearing tape. And we've got our two cards done, and I will put up the dimensions so that you can give this a try. It's a great way to show off your beautiful designer series papers. Pull that off. You also could do um, a panel that's embossed instead of a panel that is designer paper. So let's pull this back here. All right, we got messes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and let's just slide this into place. Again, you can always add embellishments if you want. There we go. I also think on this one, you could actually use that Lost Lagoon ribbon. And you could actually adhere it with tear and tape um, to the belly band for a little something extra. Um, and do it just like the whole length of it, front and back. And uh, that would also be an option. All right, let's pull up those dimensions here. Slide this. Okay, did we clean up the mess? No, we didn't. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, there. Now we're all tidy. <laughs> Oh, you all are so patient. Okay, so let's go ahead and do you like my work around, Gloria? <laughs> we made it work, right? All right, let's pull up our measurements here. So this is the triple flap fun fold card. And we are using the Inked Botanicals 6x6 designer paper and the uh, Inked and Tiled um, stamp set. So there we go. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, the Lost Lagoon 
or the Calypso Coral. And it might have changed. You might have voted for this paper and end up liking this one better. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and open this one up. There we go. Let's see what it looks like opened. And then this one that was <clears throat> done extra fancy by mistake. <laughs> with the designer paper. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and move that and I'm going to pop up so that I can say goodbye. And I can't see your comments. Let's see which one you liked better. The Lost Lagoon. You like both of them? Hey, nothing wrong with that, right? Thanks so much for helping me design tonight. Um, always love creating with you. And thank you for making and sending those handmade cards. Let's just keep keep cranking them out and keep getting them in the mail. So take care, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.